Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. Today we're going to have a look at two properties, the visible and the enabled property. And all your objects have these properties. These two properties have the same data type. Their data type is Boolean, so either true or false. After the activity tour, uh, but before you do the program load shedding, I want you to watch this video. I want you to tag this page because it's important just to come back to it and revise what is the difference between disabled and visible. So your objects on your form have both of these properties, disabled and visible, if you go into the object inspector. But we need to make changes to the objects by using code and not the object inspector. So disabled means you can't click on it. I'm sure you have seen that before in programs that you use that you can't, it's grayed out and you can't click on an option. So this means disabled. You can still see the object, but you can't click on it. So to disable an object, we always use the enabled property, but we set it to false. So the enabled property is a Boolean data type. That means it can only be either true or false. And if I set the enabled property to false, it's going to look like this and my user can't click on it. When I want to enable it, I use the same property, but this time I'm setting it to true. And that will allow my user then to click on it again. We can also make objects invisible and visible. And the property we'll use would be the visible property for both. This is also a Boolean property. So if I set visible to false, I will not see that object at all on the form like the invisible man. So when I want the user to see the object again, I will add the code, whatever the object name is, dot visible is assigned to true and then it will become visible to my user again. So now you can try the activity load shedding. Thank you for watching Dandelion Delphi tutorials. Remember not to just watch, but to keep coding. Hope to see you soon.